Hi guys and dolls, how are you? I hope you're well, and if you're subscribed, thank you. If you're not subscribed, hit the bell icon, the word subscribed, and hit, click all to be notified of all videos. Hopefully you can hear me. So, we're going to talk about mistakes that people make on the first date, alright? This is so commonplace. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's not good. Now, I am dealing with natural lighting, so if you see shadows, there's not a lot I can do about that, but let's just roll with it, alright? Let's go. Alright, so, <laughs> some of these are going to be so common sense that you're going to be like, well, duh, but you would be surprised how many people do it anyway, because they don't think, right? Let's go with the first one. This is a list that I made. And before I even get started with that, um, there was a lady, I saw her video recently where the guy hounded her to go out. I mean, he was on her, on her, on her. She said, I'm not really interested. On her, on her, on her anyway. And they, she finally went along with it. She went out with him, although her gut told her, eh, this might not be the best idea. And they went to a movie, and he made her pay for her ticket. He said, are you going to pay for your ticket? <sighs> I, I don't even know what to say to that. I just don't. I, I, yeah. So first one, having no money. All right? If you do not have the money to date, then you should not be asking someone out on a date okay don't go out if you're broke one of my friends his dad told him when he was a kid if you don't have the money to go out somewhere you keep your ass at home that's what his dad told him and he has stuck with that to this day if he's broke he keeps his butt at home and that's what people need to do stop trying to perpetrate that you want to take somebody out knowing that you're not in a position to take them out all right you have no idea where to go absolutely no clue where to go now especially for men you asked her out you were all over her like white on rice so she's like okay well since you all over me let's go out where are we going uh i don't know what do you mean what the hell do you mean you don't know if you're that indecisive about your plans then you shouldn't be going out with somebody because that don't make any sense you should not only know where you're going and discuss it with her okay you should have an idea of what their um their menu is if it's a restaurant i'm just using that as an example you should have an idea of what their menu is to see if that's within your budget all right people make me tired okay Getting handsy too soon. This is really referring to men because men are notorious for this. Although, I always say that this isn't gender specific. Women can do the same thing. But in the case, usually the man asks the woman out. So you should have an idea of what's going on. And not just have a big question mark on your face when she starts asking you where or whatever. Um... You're getting handsy too soon, touching people on their thigh and on their back and trying to grab their butt and other body parts that you have no business touching. Knock it off. Knock it off. Stop acting like you were raised in a barn. Okay? Pushing for a kiss when it's not mutual. So, again, my experience has been men doing this. You know that she's not really feeling you. You could feel the um, connection or lack of connection in the air. And you just going to push for a kiss anyway. And when she gives you the cheek instead, you know, you're coming off like a predator. I know that she's not giving me a signal to kiss her. And I know... There hasn't been any real mutuality, but I'm going to push the envelope anyway. I'm going to make her give in. You sound like a predator. Oh, pushing for affection, you know, trying to make 
this person's trying to make you hold their hand. I've been through that. It's awkward as hell. And I eventually let his hand go because I had no desire to, to hold his hand. Stop pushing. Stop pushing. Because you're going to push the person right out the door. All right? No addiction's cute. So if you're addiction, you have addiction to drugs, alcohol, gambling, sex, whatever it is that you're addicted to, you need to get that resolved before you even remotely think about going out with somebody. Stop pulling somebody into your vortex. <clears throat> you don't like being alone with you and you don't like who you've become, but you try to pull somebody else into that. Eh, eh. Get yourself together first. <clears throat> Many lack social skills and have no empathy and lack appropriate responses to what was told to you, which is a typical narcissist response, although some people might be emotionally bankrupt. So you tell them something like, I'm sorry, I can't, like, say it's the woman to the man. Well, I'm just using that as an example, okay? I'm not picking on nobody, chill. But, you know, she says, I'm sorry, I canceled our first date. Um, I had a death in the family. My grandma died. And the person just goes, oh. Or they just stare at you with a blank look on their face. Did you not hear what the person just told you? Their grandma died. An appropriate res response would be, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? You don't just stand there like, I mean, come on now, because if something happened to you, you would be crushed, right? If you have any emotions at all, you're going to be crushed. Well, how do you think that person feels? Put yourself in their situation. And if you're a narcissist, you don't have the ability to put yourself in their situation, okay? We won't even go there right now. All right? Not reading body language. If there's heaviness in the air or the person's doing this with their arms or their legs are crossed away from you or they have no eye contact when they're talking to you, there's your sign. All right. Stop ignoring the tension in the air. If there is tension, if there is tension in the air, chances are they're not feeling you like you're feeling them or they're very, very shy or whatever the case is. But if you see them pulling away or you see them looking all around the room and not looking at you, don't be honing in like a shark goes for the bait. Don't, 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 don't. Because you're not going to force them to feel you like that if they're not feeling you like that. Chill. Chill. You don't know what they're going through in their life and you don't know. They may not be attracted to you. Maybe you did something extremely rude and they're like, I can't wait for this date to be over. You don't know. But you're not going to force them to like you. Read the body language, read voice inflections, watch their eye contact or lack of eye contact. All right. Come on, people. Uh, da, 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 da. No manners or etiquette being rude to staff, for example, staff at the park or staff at the restaurant or staff at the concert or whoever it is, if they're rude to those people. That's bad, okay? If they're rude to strangers, how do you think they're going to treat you? All right? Playing with the phone and blowing off the date. That should be a no-brainer. That should be common sense. Uh, I, If I'm spending quality time with someone, I do not have my phone on. If it is an emergency, call 911 and then leave me a message on my phone. Because I'm not 911. I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Therefore, leave a message. Or in my case, my phone is set up to where it has, when I put it on do not disturb, if someone's trying to reach me and they call me more than two or three times in a row, that call will get through. So, in that case, you know, that's understandable, but otherwise, put your damn phone away. That's rude. Unless you're on call for your job, and in that case, you should tell the person. You should either not go out until you're not on call, 
or explain to the date I may have to go to work I'm on call because that's the nature of my job or whatever the case is all right not caring for what the date wants ask them don't decide for them I read I think I watched a view or a video where somebody said that the person ordered them a small popcorn they didn't want a small popcorn they love popcorn I love movie popcorn too if you order me a small, I'm probably going to snap your neck. Don't order me a small, damn it. Ask me what I want. And yes, I have been out with someone <laughs> a long time ago. Thank God I threw him in the dirt where he belongs. But uh, years and years ago, he's real chintzy with money. Money is his wife. Money is his everything. So he ordered a small small popcorn for myself and him and his son a small popcorn between three people he needed to keep his ass at home all right because you 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 just out of line right now and let me go ahead and dispel this myth right now this stupid ridiculosity that men accuse women of being money grabbers and gold diggers and everything else number one you ain't got no gold to dig for let's get that straight you don't have multiple houses in the islands in your main house on the mainland or whatever the hell you ain't got none of that going on especially post covid so shut that up also the reason why it's what is the word it's proper to court a lady and take her out and spend some money on her it is not the idea of money that's the issue. The reason why you want to you know, make a small sacrifice to take her out is because you're letting her know, I know that you're being hounded by men. I know that you can't walk down the street when there's a bunch of construction workers without somebody saying, can I get some fries with that shake? All right, we're being hounded on the regular by our bosses, by our professors, by men in the street, by men in the club, men walking down, walking past you on the sidewalk. We're being hounded all the time. You want to stand out and be different and say, yeah, he's hounding you and he's chasing after you for what, you know, he wants to get from you. I'm actually a gentleman and I don't mind spending a few dollars to court you because number one that's what men do or used to do back in the day and number two i want to show you that i'm totally different from those dogs that are after you like this <laughs> i i uh, uh i want to prove to you that i am worth your time okay you will stand out in a crowd when you're willing to do something other than hey girl hey okay you make the sacrifice to prove to her, hey, I'm worthy, and I don't mind making the effort to show you that I'm worthy. So y'all need to get off this, this this nonsensical ridiculousness of, oh, they just after my money, my money. My, we don't give a damn about the $2 in your pocket, okay? It's a matter of courting someone old school way and making a, a sacrifice for someone to show that, hey, I'm worth your time. And I don't mind showing you that I'm worth your time because I know that everybody else is all over you like gravy on pork chops. And I just want to stand out and, and let you know that I'm not just a, I'm not a hound dog chasing women when they walk by me on the street. I'm actually different and unique. And I want to get to know you because I think you're different and unique. We don't care about your money. OK. And like I told guys before, if she insists on you're going to take me to an expensive restaurant every time. We're going to buy champagne imported from France at the restaurant. And you better pick me up in a Rolls Royce. Obviously, that's not the woman for you. Okay? Obviously, that's not the woman for you. And if, if this person is coming off this way in the beginning, it only gets worse down the line. It only gets worse. All right? So think about that. Love you guys. Take care. Talk to you soon.